Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. and I think no personality type loves analyzing other people as much as the ENTP personality type. I believe no type is more interested in studying people and their body language and their quirks and their behavior and kind of what game they're playing. I think the ENTP tends to assume everyone is playing a game. Everyone is out to get something. Everybody wants something. So I think ENTPs, they like figuring out what it is that people want and how people want it. Now this video is aimed at undressing the ENTP and helping you read the ENTP personality type and also understand some of their giveaway quirks and some of their core interests and values. What I believe is everyone has a set of body language habits that are related to their core values and their core interests. You can read it in their face, their tone of voice, their body language and their gestures and how they interact and how they use and uh, engage in and show their emotions outwardly. So I don't believe anybody can read a person's type based on facial features, on uh, how the shape of the eyes are or the size of the nose or anything like that. I don't believe, I believe that's pseudoscience. But I do believe that uh, we have distinct ways, mannerisms, uh, a distinct gaze, a distinct way of thinking, and a distinct way of feeling and experiencing life. And our facial expressions and our body language mirrors that. One core quirk I found was that extroverts tend to, rather than pull information from inside out, they tend to gather information from the world around them. That's a core sign you can see in their body language. They will grab for information and you know the ENTP they have a very distinct mannerism as they do often first what you will notice is searching eyes you know ENTPs they have searching eyes their eyes go like detectives they analyze the world around them uh, their eyes are open and studious they read patterns they search for clues they investigate they analyze they think oh what's that and what's that how does those the events connect why did that person do that where are they going next what's going to happen after this and you see that also in their their gestures because they're not just grabbing for data they're uh, searching their their wrists are fluid in their motions as they grab information their wrists are fluid so they're searching for information around them and often what you want to look at, what you want to focus on, is also their finger motions. Because often the ENTP has precise finger motions. Often it's like they're calculating things. As they use their hands and as they gesture, their fingers move in calculated and precise manners. They love accuracy. They like knowing exactly what's going on, exactly how something happens. They love to count and to get clues from the information, reading the information, reading their environment pragmatically, looking for objective data and insight. You know, DMTP likes to formalize, you know, what is it that they know, how, what data do they have, what information do they have, what are the statistics, what do the numbers say, you know, how often does something happen, you know, how often does something tend to happen, what tends to happen if you use that much of that. So they're often approaching life as, you know, street mathematicians, you know, uh, rather than sit on their own and calculate and think and ponder or something theoretically, they like to text, test and experiment and t try things out. And, you know, here's, I'm going to reveal one of the coolest and most interesting ENTP motions, you know, ENTPs have dancing eyes. Their eyes tend to dance as they go to go over information and data. Their eyes tend to move in fluid and uh, seemingly random patterns. But it's all, of course, orchestrated in a way. It's all, in a sense, uh, a symbol of curiosity and options and what ifs. What if that? What if that? What if that? What if this? What if that? You know, going over and thinking about different things that could happen, could come to me. And, you know, often what you will see here is like the inventor's spark. You know, the inventor's spark is one of the key ENTP signals. It's like when they realize something, when they have an aha or they figure something out. And you see, uh, especially in the outer parts of their eyes, how their eyes shine out, you know. 
ENTPs tend to have adaptive and open eyes, eyes that study and take in, gather and study and take in more and more information, more and more data. So what you see is uh, when they realize something or when they spot something or they notice something, they seem so curious, you know, they have this natural curiosity to them, this marvel, this fascination with what's going on, with figuring something out. And, you know, there's no more ENTP expression than that when you figure something out and you go like, what? <laughs> really? Is that it? Is that how it works together? When you really connect the pieces and you... Uh, add it all up and all the numbers make sense and it's like yeah yeah that's check 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 you go through a list yeah it's all right it's all correct it all seems to be true and uh, here you know um, what you'll notice is uh, ENTPs they tend to have very round facial expressions you know all their expressions tend to start in the outer parts of their face it's like um, it's like an openness that starts in the outer parts of the jaws, their smiles start in the cheeks, their uh, expressions start uh, very much in the outer parts of the face and then come inwards. Uh, often what you notice is, you know, judges, they tend to have very precise looks, they tend to look straight at something, they tend to have very much focus, but the ENTP tends to have openness, so that's... Uh, a very not natural part of ENTP body language. You can also hear it in uh, their voice and in how they talk and express themselves. It's it's a cool and objective voice. It's a pragmatic voice. It's a strong voice. ENTPs have very strong voices. You know, when ENTPs talk, they command authority and attention. And a lot of people miss this about ENTPs. ENTPs are very power-oriented types. They are very much aware of power dynamics in the group, who's ahead, who's in charge, who leads. And, you know, ENTPs tend to have a natural desire towards leadership and to be in charge, or not necessarily to have the responsibility of being in charge, but to be the one people listen to and the, to be the person who initiates and catalyzes action and gets everyone moving. So they like to be able to be the one ahead. And so the, their voice, they tend to command authority and respect. That's something they deeply need and deeply appreciate. Being able to feel listened to, being able to feel heard, and being able to feel that you have a power and a say in life and in life's matters and in the group. So often it, it is that the ENTP's tone of voice is naturally enthusiastic and it's naturally rhythmic, irrhythmical. It jumps, it darts from point to point. It's then that, and then this, and then that. It's uh, going over and checking through different lit parts of a list. It's we have this, and then we have that, and then we have this, and then we have that. It's going over data. It's a voice that also indicates a uh, kind of game, that there is a game going on. There is some kind of uh, power dynamic at play. There is dif different aspects to think about we can take this route or we can take that route you know uh, and that route has that advantage and that route has that advantage and if we go there maybe we can get this and that and that but if we go there maybe we have a problem with this and then maybe this will come up or maybe that will come up so you know ENTPs they're very good at the reading risks you know and spotting when something is going to get them somewhere and when something is going to present a problem for them they are very good at anticipating the consequences of actions and noticing when something is going to lead in a bad way and when something is not and the ENTPs they are very tactical people you know often they like to be the one that counters the moves of others they like to argue with other people they like to bring counter arguments yeah you say this but then if you say that then there's this problem or that issue so ENTPs they like to focus on and study what other people are doing first you know they have very studious expressions they analyze everyone they like to know what people are doing and then when people are doing something they like to intercept this and either bring support through logical aid or to bring criticism or arguments that can help uh, steer things in the right direction. So often they come from the perspective of fixing things and um, correcting things. If somebody says something that is wrong, the ENTP has the desire to correct the mistake. If uh, there is an alternative, the ENTP has a desire to bring up this alternative and show that you, yeah, you can go here, but you can also go there. And that's probably faster. And then uh, you're going to get there much more in time. So... 
the ENTP as a searching expression and also a curious expression. They have also kind of a defiance or a rebellion in their eyes. You know, it looks like they, they, cannot, they can take the role or the archetype of the contrarian in society. Often the, yeah, but there's a better way to do things. So uh, defiance as in, yeah, you're not going to control me or you're not going to be able to use me. I'm going to be a rebel. I'm going to go against the flow. I'm going to defy the norms. And that's an important part of the ENTP, that uh, rebelliousness and uh, that ability to go against the flow. So ENTPs, they're deeply fascinating people. A lot of my patrons are ENTPs and a lot of people who come to watch this channel and to support it are ENTPs. So a lot of people are very curious to learn more because they, yeah, they want to understand the mannerisms of their own type and they also want to understand others. And I noticed that ENTPs are... Uh, some of the most interested in other personality types than their own. They're deeply curious about how other people work and uh, how about group dynamics and relationships between different people in the group and who's ahead and who's, uh, what, what type is better at what and what skills and abilities different types have. So something you have to recognize in the ENTP is that uh, need for potential, you know, what is it I could do? What is it I could be? What is it I could achieve? So uh, the question I usually get from ENTPs is, uh, you know, what should I do? What career should I get? Where? What should I do? How should I get there? What strategy should I use? You know, what should I study? You know, and um, I think for the ENTP, the good answer is almost everything. Study almost anything you can get your hands on. You know, no information is bad information. You are meant to be an inventor first and foremost, you know, a person of uh, great ideas and great possibilities and creativity, one that brings things to fruition, one that puts out new ideas, one who corrects and innovates in the world and brings out new things. One of the most important exercises as an ENTP, I believe, is looking yourself in the mirror, you know, when you wake up and seeing that creative spark, seeing those searching eyes, seeing that uh, desire for power and that desire for accuracy and for skill and ability in yourself, in your facial expressions, in your smiles, in your desire to analyze things, you know, noticing all those qualities are there and holding on to that flow and that energy and that motivation and making the best out of it. Asking yourself, what is it I'm searching for? What, is, uh, what are the ideas that I have before me? What are my options? And... Uh, what is it I could improve or fix? Or what is it I could invent or come up with? What solutions could I make or design? You know, um, how could I impact the world? What, uh, in what ways could I influence the world differently? And how can I make the world a better place? That's yeah, what you have to recognize. You know, what is it I want, first and foremost? Don't become so detached to assume that you don't want anything or that you don't need anything but rather observe yourself as you observe other people, analyze yourself as you analyze other people and use your own skills just as you can use the skills of other people to make the world a better place. So that's it on ENTP bot language. If you have found any quirks of the ENTP that you like to talk about, feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.